This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 513. Today, I would like to share 10 ways to prepare to get in the best shape of your life in 2024. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm going to tell you the top 10 ways that can help prepare you. Okay, because it's not just going to happen. You're not just going to become a uh, massy fucking Aries on a uh, fucking January 1st. Okay, boo. So you got to prepare. Number one, reduce the friction. Reduce the friction. So there's an amazing book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. You might want to get that now. Okay. And so in this book, he talks about reducing friction between what you want to do and what you are currently doing. Okay. For example, if you want to start, um, if you want to start exercising, then putting your clothes out the night before with your shoes right there is a great way to do that. If you want to start, um, um, you know, starting a, um, a gratitude list or visualization, then putting a post-it note next to your toothbrush will help to remind you to do that while you're brushing your teeth. You know, that's what I do. I always say 10 things I'm grateful for in my head while I'm brushing my teeth. I also, and I'm going to talk about this later, but I also squat while I am brushing my teeth and flossing and doing mouthwash and stuff like that, because why not? Okay. So find a way to reduce the friction between you and working out. Here's some other ways. Okay. Join a gym now. Join a gym now. Okay. It's almost December 1st. You will have a whole month to get acquainted with the gym, to get set up, to find the machines, to not feel awkward anymore, to get into the habit of going there. Even better, join a studio. Okay. Join some type of studio. Now you can join a gym that has classes. What I did Okay, because yes, who doesn't love the treadmill and the Stairmaster? But what I personally did was I joined a hot yoga studio that has hit classes. Okay, and so I go every morning at 8.30 and this is the first thing I do in the morning. So um, it, I know that if I were to try and work out on my own, it would just... I would either not go or I would just not get a good workout in because you will never work as hard alone that you will with other people. So either you join a studio like a spin studio or a yoga studio or um, one of those like orange theories or something like that, or you get a personal trainer. Okay. If you can afford a personal trainer, that would be the most ideal or you can join Misfit Mondays. I work out with my Fruity Cuties every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time. If you're living on the West Coast, that's 9 a.m., okay? That's pretty good. That's pretty ideal. If you're working from home, noon is a great time to work out because it's the middle of the day. You can get some work done before and you can go back to work after, okay? So listen, if you're interested in joining me for a workout every day, well, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, okay? We have three days off a week. Then go to misfitmondays.com, M-I-S fitmondays.com. And um, that will help to keep you accountable because if you don't come to, if you sign up and you don't come to the workouts, I will be on your ass. I will be on your ass. Believe me. Um, And if you do come to the workouts, I demand that you put the camera on, okay? So that I can see what you're doing and what you're not doing. And if you're not doing your shit, then I will call you out and we will stop the class and we will start over. Okay. Nicole knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Number two, get your workout clothes together now. So number one is to find your gym or your membership or your trainer now. Do it now, boo, and get in the habit now. You're not going to start a brand new fucking life on January 1st. You're going to start it now and you're going to be doing it by January 1st so that you can get the in the best fucking shape of your life. Number two, get your workout clothes together now. Okay, so I just got, I just started getting really, really serious about getting in shape and 
I had no fucking idea how much laundry was required because the truth is, is that I'm currently working out like two, three times a day because listen, I go to hot yoga in the morning at 830. Then I run my workout class at noon. And then sometimes I go on the Peloton or I go on a walk or a swim or a bike ride. And it's like, I am sleeping so much better. I'm feeling so much better. I'm getting in amazing shape. I have lost a little bit of weight, five pounds, okay. And um, I feel really, really good. And um, I have to do laundry like all the time. Like I have to do laundry once a week. I used to be able to do it once every two weeks, but because I'm sweating so much and I have so many fucking like hot yoga towels that are soaking wet and my clothing, when I leave, when I leave hot yoga, I am drenched. And that is honestly how you want to work out. You want to start sweating, boo. I have a theory. If you don't sweat during a workout, I don't really know if you worked out or not. Sorry, not sorry. So do me a favor and get your workout clothes together now. Okay. And if you don't have a lot of money, then do what I did. Okay. Because obviously I'm a millionaire, but I'm very, very, very cheap when it comes to anything besides fruit. So, um, and also my friends and family, like I like to give gifts and stuff, but, um, well, I used to, uh, now I'm, I don't know, <laughs> now I'm cheap, but I used to spend a lot of money on my sister and like over a thousand dollars on every fucking holiday. But well, that's cause, all right, let's not get into my, my finances. Um, what was the point of this? Oh yeah. Goodwill, baby. Go to the Goodwill. There is a section. If you have a nice Goodwill, there's a section for workout clothes. And I have found the most amazing, awesome sports bras and shorts, um, at the Goodwill. And they've all been like Victoria's Secret brand, or, um, I found Under Armour. I found Gymshark and you just wash it and everything's good to go. So that's my recommendation. And if you live in Florida, hit me up because I have the best Goodwill of all time. Everything is so fucking organized by size and color. Incredible. So anyway, that's the Goodwill here where I live. Um, Check out like a Salvation Army or Goodwill. You can find plenty of amazing workout clothes for super, super cheap. Get a bunch of workout clothes that fit. Don't be buying shit in a different size thinking that that's going to motivate you because that ain't going to. You need workout clothes that fit now. Okay. And by the way, speaking of workout clothes, start getting into the habit of putting your clothes out the night before. So personally, I like to keep mine on my bathroom sink area and my sneakers, okay? Um, And so put that there every night, whether you're going to work out or not, get into the habit of that. Get into the habit of putting your workout clothes out in your bedroom or in your bathroom, okay? Number three, to get into the best shape of your life in 2024, because you know that's going to be your motherfucking New Year's resolution <laughs> to actually follow through with it. I need you to clean out your fridge and your pantry now. Now, no, 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 now, boo. Not January 1st. You ain't going to do shit on January 1st if you don't do it now. You've got to do it now. I need you to throw away everything in your house that is yours that you do not want to eat anymore. Now, if you have friends, if you're living with housemates, then I need you to talk to them. I need you to talk to them. And that's the, that's number four. I need you to explain to them that you have to get your shit together. You want to lose weight, but you have a food addiction and you have to get certain things out of the house. And you ask them before January 1st to please eat that stuff and then consume it outside the house. They can have anything they want outside the house, but please don't bring it into the house. And if they don't respect you, then you're living with the wrong people. If you have a husband or a wife that doesn't help you reach your fitness goals, you have the wrong husband or wife. Do you understand me? Because a soulmate is actually supposed to be your goal mate. And if they are not helping you reach your goals, what is the point? Like, what is the point? So y'all can just come together and be miserable? No, bye, divorce. Yeah, dead ass. 
And you're like, oh no, but I might never find anyone. Okay, great. You will get to your goals. And then you're like, oh, but I'll be, I can't be alone. Well, may I suggest therapy? Because if you can't be alone, then you can't be successful. You're going to have to do a lot of shit alone if you want to lose weight, if you want to be raw, if you want to be successful in life, if you want to be a millionaire. Like you're going to have to, you're, let's just focus on being fit. If you're trying to get fit, you're going to have to do a lot of it alone. Okay, sure. You might be blessed with a workout buddy. That will be amazing. I got blessed in 2020 and I had a workout partner for a few months and it was one of the best times of my life. And, um, I know she's not listening to this podcast, but in case she might be, I want to say thank you because it truly was the best time of my life just to have someone that was pushing me to work out no matter what, that was making me go for runs, that was running with me, that was up for anything fitness wise. And I loved that Bikram yoga, watermelon workouts, uh, running early on the beach. You know, I loved that. And now I don't have that anymore and it sucks, but I found a way to make it work. And the way for me to make it work is to sign up for a studio, okay? A hot yoga studio. And the teacher that I found, she teaches every day at 8.30. She is the fucking devil reincarnated. She's the female Russian David Goggins. And I fucking love her. I gotta bring her more fruit soon. I've been, I've been bringing her fruit sometimes, but like I haven't in a while. I gotta bring her some fruit because she is just, she is changing my life. I love her. She's the best. She's a 10 out of 10. She's doing what she was born to do. And I'm obsessed with anyone that is doing what they were born to do. Let's move on. Number five, leave your yoga mat out with bands close by. Okay, listen, you got to buy these bands on Amazon. Hold on. What is that noise? Sorry, something is making a weird noise. Is that the AC? Okay, whatever. So there are bands on Amazon. I will just tell you them right now, but I've been posting them in Misfit Mondays. If you're not a member, Misfit Mondays is actually free to join on Facebook. You can't join the workouts or the Monday night call, the Q&A Zoom on Monday, but you can be in the Facebook group for free. So please join us. Go to Misfit Mondays on Facebook. And they're called Resistant Bands for Working Out by a company called... Mm, Vergali, V-E-R-G-A-L-I, and they're amazing. They're only $18.99 right now. They're made from material that you can wash. They don't break. They're not, oh, there's, if there's something I cannot stand, it's the bands that go around your thighs that are made from fucking rubber or plastic, and they are so annoying, and they roll up, because I have pretty big thighs, And so they can never stay perfectly straight. And these bands are perfect. They don't roll up. They will never break. And I love them so much. And what I recommend is you leave your yoga mat out and you put one of these bands there, okay? And this, when you have that out in your house or in your room, you will literally be so much more inclined to just do some glute bridges, to do some squats, to do some stretching, okay? Right now, actually, you know what? (laughs) I don't know why I'm sitting on the couch. Right now, I'm getting up. My yoga mat's always out. My bands are always close by. And I'm going to put on a band. And I'm going to be squatting while I finish this podcast. Because I got the same goals as you, boo. I'm trying to get in the best shape of my life. And ain't nobody going to stop me. Not you, not the podcast, and definitely not myself. I'm not going to stop me anymore. Because that's the only thing that can stop me is me. No more, boo. Okay, so let me just put on my band. Hold on. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to finish my podcast while I'm squatting. Whew. Okay, here we go. So leave your yoga mat out. Um, leave your shoes close by if you're trying to go for walks. Or, or even better, first thing in the morning, put on your workout clothes. Even if you can't do a workout, which by the way, number six is to make it a non-negotiable to work out first thing in the morning. Listen, if you absolutely cannot work out first thing in the morning, I am going to guess that you're lying and you're making an excuse because you absolutely can. You absolutely can. You see, maybe you need to wake up earlier. Yes, but you can, you absolutely can do it. Okay. 
So worst case scenario, you need to be at work at 6 a.m. You have to leave your house at 5 a.m. Well, you know what that means? You might have to wake up at 4 a.m. and work out from 4.15 to 4.45. You take a five-minute shower. You give up the makeup. You brush your hair. You, your ha- fucking, you get out the door, and there you go. You might need, that might need to be your life. I don't know what your schedule is, but if you have a crazy early schedule, the best way to get in shape in 2024 is to work out first thing in the morning. It's a very rare person that can work out after work every day. I do have a few clients like that. I think they are fucking, they're aliens. I've never been able to do that. I have to work out first thing in the morning or I'm not going to do it. So that's my suggestion. Or, you know, listen, I've worked out in the afternoon consistently when I had a trainer and also for Misfit Mondays because it's at 12, right? But like, if I don't have somebody else involved, it's not going to happen. So, you know, like our willpower is a, it's a dwindling commodity throughout the day. Like we're not going to have the same amount of willpower in the evening that we have in the morning. So I recommend you stop eating early, like around six or seven, and you also start eating early, okay? And you work out first. And these are the best ways to lose weight. You gotta get your fitness in first thing in the morning. Make that a non-negotiable, okay? So number six. Ooh, number six is great. Oh, you ready for this? Wait, is this six or seven? The next tip is to start making it a habit to do squats while you're on the phone. Post a note to kickstart this habit. So have a post-it note on your mirror or an alarm that goes off on your phone every day, multiple times a day to remind you to start doing squats while you are on the phone. And that's funny because I'm actually doing squats right now while we are talking. I'm not on the phone, but I am actually holding my phone. So maybe it counts. Yeah, it's not easy to not be out of breath while I'm doing squats, but it's, it's really, really helpful to get in a few extra squats. You know, here's what people don't get, okay? Here's what I didn't get for like fucking 38 years. It's not just the workout that's going to help you lose weight, okay? It's, uh, how do I put this? It's the little things throughout the day that are going to add up to you being healthier, fitter, losing weight. It's almost like the opposite of the food. So like, it's probably not, you're probably not eating gigantic quantities for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's happening in your diet is probably that you're eating little things throughout the day that are sabotaging your success. You're having a drink here, you're having some M&Ms there, you're having a pretzel here, you're having that, that, that. And it's these little things that sabotage your success. And just like little things can cause you to fail, little things can cause you to succeed. There's such a fine line between success and failure. They both happen in the same way. Bad habits repeated over time cause failure. Good habits repeated over time result in success. And so what you need to do is, and what I needed to do was, there are certain habits that are simple to do, easy to do. And one of them is starting to make a habit while squatting on the phone. Start making a habit of squatting or doing stretching while working, while um, watching TV. How about this? How about you start making a habit of only allowing yourself to watch YouTube or listen to podcasts while you're working out? Okay. So that is tip number seven. It's called habit pairing. So squatting while brushing and flossing your teeth. That's a great idea. Leave a band in the bathroom to get some resistance, okay? These bands are amazing. Trust me, you're not going to regret buying these. They are so, they make a, a squat feel so different, okay? By the way, I recently learned that sumo squats are the squats you want to do if you want a butt. I didn't know. I, you see, that's why I didn't have a butt in 2023. But 2024, I'm getting more back there, okay? So, small butt, no more in 2024. Yes, I know. I know. So yeah, I recommend you only allow yourself to watch YouTube while working out or Netflix while working out. Post-it notes, reminders on your phone help you in this situation. Okay. Because in the beginning you're going to just like forget 
You know, we got to be reminded of these things because life gets in the way, okay? Post-it notes and alarms on your phone. That's how I've been able to stick with habits. Number eight, make it a rule. I don't know what number we're at, but let's just pretend we're at number eight. Make it a rule today. No more elevators starting today. Use the stairs as much as possible. Obviously, if you are if you are bringing a new dresser into your apartment, you yeah, you probably got to use the fucking elevator. But at all times when you can, use the stairs. Okay, tip number 9, start parking further when you go to the store. I hope you're writing these down. Somebody write these down. Sherry, let's write these down, put it into a book. No, just kidding, don't write these down. Um, there's no need. I'll put them in the show notes. How about that? Okay. So number nine is to start parking farther away. When you go to the store, make this a habit and then you will get in more steps. Okay. Yes. If you want to get a step reader, you can do that if you want. Um, I'm not into that because I don't like to wear anything. I don't like jewelry. I don't like things tracking me all the time. I have a phone. That's enough. You know what I mean? But if you have a smartwatch, then you already have it. So you might as well use the, use the motherfucker, okay? Start tracking your steps and have a goal of 10,000 steps a day, okay? You might want to get a walking pad or some type of treadmill desk. You might want to invest in a Peloton. You know, doing an hour of a treadmill or a Peloton or something every day just while you work is an amazing idea. I wouldn't say that that's a workout, Okay, unless you are running, unless you are sweating, you really want to dedicate minimum 45 minutes a day to working out. Okay, like sweating. And then the rest of the time you want to be active because you want to start burning calories randomly throughout the day, squatting, walking, going upstairs, walking on the treadmill. Okay, you want to get in the habit of being fit throughout the day, not just at the gym. And then you sit all day because that was a big problem for me. You know, I work from home. So I had to get in the habit of doing some work on the Peloton, squatting while I'm doing my podcast, okay? Walking up the stairs, okay? Parking further away from Whole Foods. And these little things have added up to weight loss with zero, zero calorie restriction. If there's one thing I cannot stand, that is not eating what I want whenever I want as much as I want. Okay. And so I do not calorie restrict. I will never do that again. I eat whenever I want. I try to stop eating around six or seven, but it doesn't really happen that much. But here are the things that have helped me so much in the last month to lose five pounds easily. And this is going to set you up for success in 2024. Okay. Excuses no more in 2024. How about that one? Number 10 is, I already said number 10. Hmm. (laughs) I don't know how this happened, guys. Let me think of another one because number 10 says exercise first thing in the morning, but like I already said that. Okay. Number 10 is to reprogram your subconscious. Okay. One of my biggest secrets I'm about to tell you, you don't need to ever buy another book from anyone course. You don't have to join any of my courses. You don't have to join my anything. You should probably join Misfit Mondays to work out with me, but you don't have to. Fucking join something, gym or a studio. But listen, listen, after I tell you this secret, you're not going to need nothing else because everything is going to fall into place and you're going to be cured from the self-sabotage and from the negative false beliefs in your head. Okay, so here's my secret. When I go to bed at night, I play affirmations. Okay, so... When you see somebody as beautiful and as fit as me, it's not by accident, boo. (laughs) I'm just kidding, but not really. I'm not the fittest or the most beautiful at all. But when you see somebody who's had a transformation from not to hot, it's never by accident. Okay, so let me tell you exactly what I do. I go to YouTube And I type in affirmations for weight loss. When I was trying to lose weight, okay, affirmations for weight loss. Uh, If I'm trying to get fit, if I'm trying to be more beautiful, if I'm trying to be more feminine, if I'm trying to um, attract more money, if I'm trying to attract more clients, if I'm trying to attract more love in my life or more peace, or if I'm trying to work on my self-esteem, my confidence, 
um, whatever it is, there are affirmation videos on YouTube that fucking work. And my new one, okay, and all you have to do is play it. You can play it while you're awake or my secret is I play it while I'm sleeping. And in the beginning, it was hard for me to get used to it because I, you know, somebody's talking. Okay, hey boo. So I don't know what happened, but the podcast shut off and I don't know like where I was at. Did I tell you guys my affirmation video? If I did not, it's called Beautiful Bum Affirmations by a channel called Sweet and Easy Affirmations, I think. I think what happens is if you go to the YouTube app, then the podcast app stops recording. It's very sneaky like that. I guess it thinks you're going to watch a video, so it stops the mic. Anywho, I probably said a bunch of life-changing shit that was not recorded, and that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So... That's it. That is my top tips for getting in the best shape of your life, losing weight in 2024. If you don't take my advice, don't expect to be successful. You can possibly be successful without this advice, but trust me, trust me, trust me. If you wait until January 1st to start anything, I almost guarantee you that you will not succeed. I mean, just tell me, tell me, have you ever succeeded at uh, something you started January 1st? I'll wait. Yeah. So stop being a loser like most of the world with these fucking (laughs) New Year's resolutions, which are so goddamn lame. So lame. Please stop being lame and start fucking working. Okay. Stop being lame. Stop the excuses and start taking action now. What can you do now? What can you do tonight to move the needle forward towards your goal? If your goal is to lose weight, can you do 10 squats tonight and a one minute plank? Oh, you can't do a minute. Okay, fine. Can you do a 20 second plank? Then let's do it. Let's do it, boo, because I tell you right now, you're not going to do nothing unless you start it now. That's the rule of life. You want to write a book? I I need you to open up Google fucking docs, go to a Word document on Google Drive and start the book. Yes, you just start it. You can even start it on your phone. I wrote all my books on my phone on the notes app. Okay, you can write it out on paper. I don't recommend that, Um, but you need to start now whatever it is, whatever it is, uh, that's the secret. That's the secret. You want a podcast? You need to download anchor tonight. That's the app that I use and you need to start the podcast and publish it now. And you know what? Nobody even knows you have a podcast. So that's perfect. Start it now and just do it. You don't even have to advertise it because by the time you finally do get the balls to advertise it, you'll, you'll be good. Cause trust me, this podcast, it was not good in the beginning and it's still not good and that's okay. <laughs> It's only been 500 and some episodes. We're still waiting. Um, Listen, it might never be good, but you know what? It is what it is. I had to start before I was ready, boo. Everything I've ever done in my entire life has been before I was ready. This fucking everything, the community I have, YouTube channel, my courses, the Woodstock Fruit Festival, um, everything I do. I'm not ready to lead workouts. I just do them. And I am in the process of getting my personal training certification. But as you can see, (coughs) I am hosting workouts before I even have that. Because by the time I have it, then I'll be so fucking fit and professional that then I'll be ready to do whatever I want with that, which I don't even, I'm just going to continue what I'm doing. So (laughs) I don't even know why I'm getting it, but it's a good idea. Because you know what? A backup career is always a good idea. Even though I have a feeling I'll be a raw vegan um, guru for life, but hey, you never know. I might eat a sweet potato one day. Then what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? So I got to have a backup career. Um, So yeah, I'm going to be a personal train, a certified personal trainer. And I don't plan on working with like in a gym or with people one-on-one, but I'm really loving hosting my workouts. And if you are somebody who comes to my workout, thank you very, very much. You are the reason I do them. And I'm excited for Monday. Every single day is a brand new workout, 45 minutes. And if you don't sweat, then we do it over. 
Lucky for me and everyone that comes, everyone's always sweat. But if you don't, we do the whole workout over again. It's never happened though. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Please, please, please start now. It's the only way. And I'll see you in the next episode, boo. Bye.